Okay, so pile number two. If you made it here, thank you for coming over to Gun Road to get the rest of your reading. I'm just getting some cards ready and I'm about to get this started. Okay, so what, okay, this is what we're about to do. We're about to find out what is your person's next move, pile number two. Um, this is the thing that I'm picking up before we even get started. Your person, I think that this particular person has some deep feelings for you. What they're realizing is that you are like a motivator for them. Like you motivate them to go after their dreams. You motivate them to want to maybe build wealth and things like that. They were trying to fight this is what I'm getting in the first part of this reading or they're trying to also hide this, but there's something very destined about this connection. Um, even with the cards that we had, I think we had the 11th house in the first part of the reading. It's kind of saying like you and this person meeting was kind of faded and it was meant to spark some creativity in either you or this person. So I feel like maybe you are making this person get on their shit. Um, there's something about long-term wealth, um, success and things like that. I feel like your person is working on their success and they're working on maybe growing themselves. You also may be helping this person to work through their insecurities and their confidence issues is what I'm hearing. All right. So now we're going to go into the tarot cards. The song for this particular pile for their next move is SWV Anything, depending on who you are watching this video. And then we also have On My Way by Genuine. Those are the two songs that I'm getting for this particular pal all right so what is this person's next move what is this person's next move what are we going to end up doing we got the three of pentacles power number two what is their next move There's communication here. What is the next move? Pile number three. You guys may have to take a break from this connection with this person. There's something about divine timing because I think that they're really working on whatever it is that they're trying to create for themselves financially or with success. That was a big thing here. What is their next move? Remember, I'm telling you, this person is working on their confidence and growing themselves or their achievements and things like that is what I'm getting. Um, this person has their own separate path from you is the energy I'm getting here. So their next move is they recognize you as, they're recognizing you as partner material, right? They see you, this person sees you, but this person is also very independent um, and working on themselves and trying to grow something for themselves or build something for their empire is what I'm hearing. There's a lot of energy about success coming up here and luck and belief in themselves. I'm also getting someone who um, is giving me long-term energy. They're trying to build something that's stable for long-term, so not something short. Um, this is someone who needs, they need to work on themselves too is what I'm hearing. Clarify. We got this card that just came out as soon as I said that it flipped out the deck, the hangman. So I feel like there's going to be a pause in this connection. Their next move may be very slow, or you may feel like they're even pulling themselves back from you in this connection. And that's because that this person is trying to view this connection from a different perspective. There may be something that just happened between the two of you that made them even see you in this connection from a different perspective than how they were viewing you already, how they were seeing this connection. I think that this person also needs like, I feel like they, this person needs to um, have like a wake up call or a, a break from this or a step back so they can see how valuable you are and recognize you for who you are is what I'm hearing. Clarify. What is their next move? The next, we got this card here. I just want to put this up to make sure you guys can see it. The sun card. Four cups. Mm. 
the Queen of Swords. What is this person's next move? This person may take a break from this connection and maybe there's an energy of either like practicing their communication styles or their emotional patterns. Um, there's something about them building up their confidence. They're needing to build up their self-belief and how they feel about their self in this connection. So I think that for a lot of y'all that is watching this extended version, your person is going to take a break from this connection. They are going to want to be there for you, so they may still communicate with you, but there's an energy of needing to take a break to work on themselves. They need to build up their confidence and their belief in like how they see their self, how they see their self in the mirror is the energy I'm getting here. Um, this person is working on building something or expanding something big. Um, maybe even needing to see this connection from a higher perspective. They're looking at the bigger picture I'm hearing with this connection, and they feel like their purpose is involved in this. This has to do with their purpose or something like that is the energy that I'm getting here. But also, this is someone you don't want to chase is what, I'm, is what I'm getting. Do not chase this person. What is their next move? We got the Wheel of Fortune. This person may be coming into some type of success or something. Um, they're going to be thinking about you, contemplating, meditating on this connection. I'm getting like a lot of in their head energy. I'm getting more um, thinking and planning and strategizing more than any action. And it's because they recognize um, your qualities or what you bring to the table for this connection. This person is going to come back to you. So this is going to be like a reunion type of thing. But I feel like it's going to be after a period of them thinking about this connection a lot. I'm getting someone who's staying up late at night. Um, maybe even someone who even prays and asks God to like show them signs of why they should be continuing this connection with you or why this is important or there's something like they're waiting on a sign. They're waiting for something before they really um, take this connection to the next level. But for a lot of you, I am getting that this person is either going to try to withdraw or take a break from this connection or even maybe walk away for a short period because they're working on success. Success is very big to this person. Material... Um, Finances and things like that is very big to this person. They may feel like their money is not where they want it to be at the moment or they don't have enough to offer you at the moment. All right. I feel like they may even communicate to you about this. The seven of pentacles is what we got. So this person is planting a lot of seeds right now. I think that this person may even tell you like, I see you as this or that. Eventually they're gonna tell you this, but they're telling you also that I'm not where I wanna be yet financially. I'm working on myself. I'm not settled and secure with the bag yet. It's the energy that I'm getting here. So I, they may feel like it, the time it is not the best, but I do feel like your person is gonna come into some type of success or they're gonna come into some type of good fortune. Um, they're going to want to share this with you. It's just a matter of them trying to see if you can stay around or, or if they can stay around and they can be there for you in the meantime, but they can't give you anything 100% like serious right now. We got the Emperor card. What is their next move? All right. They're working on their independence right now. They're working on their financial security. The pinnacles keep coming up for this particular person. And it, it's just that this person, um, they may communicate to you about your beauty is the energy that I'm getting here. They may see you in your power, all right? This person is standing up, sitting on their throne, and they're um, feeling very strong and very fixed on what it is that they want with you. But I feel like this person is saying, like, I have to work on me right now. I have to invest in myself. I'm trying to reach a certain level of financial independence for myself, of security and feeling good about myself. And I keep hearing courage and confidence, y'all. So this person is also working on that too. So while they're working on their finances, they're working on how they see themselves, how they feel about their self. This person is trying to soar higher in life. They have like some big dreams or some big goals that they want to accomplish. And they don't want to look at this relationship as a distraction, but they feel like they got to be focused on what's coming up next for them. This person has to be focused. But I do get like a lot of nights spent where they're thinking about you in silence, like they're maybe laying in bed thinking about this, or um, I don't get like a, any anxious energy here. So this person is very sure 
um, about what they see as far as in the future with you, but they're in their mind a lot. They're trying to strategize. They're trying to plan. This is someone who um, is definitely planning out how they want things to go, all right? They may be trying to communicate with you, all right, about how they see you and what they want in this connection and what they plan to give you is the energy that I'm getting here. But there's a lot, a lot of thinking. Do I see movement towards you where this connection is going to go to the next level? No, I do not see that. But what I do see is changes are going to be coming about between you and this person in this connection. All right. It's a matter of time. There's something to do with timing. So timing plays a part in this particular connection. Um, let's see what else I'm feeling here. Okay, so Get To You by Trevor Jackson. Get To You, that's another song for this particular pal. I feel like this person is may even say something to you like this or they may show you this. Honey, I'm doing all of this for you. Like, I'm, I'm doing all this working hard. I'm trying to um, reach this level of success for you. Like, it's the energy of them saying, like, I really, I'm doing this for you. Let me see if I can um, play the song a little bit just so you can get what I'm saying. Or y'all can go look up the song. But this person is basically saying, like, I'm just doing all this to get to you. Also, this person may also be doing little things to try to make you jealous that is the energy I'm getting because they feel like they can't fully have you right now for some of y'all in this group. This is not for everybody, depending on how mature your person is. But this person is doing a lot, um, doing a lot, and it's because they're trying to either get your attention also. In the meantime, I feel like they're trying to keep your attention, but they just know that they got to focus on money right now. I'm here. I got to get to the money, honey. All right. So with this particular power, this person may give you recognition. They may tell you, for some of y'all, they may actually tell you, you know, this is how I feel about you. But right now, they can't really um, move towards this connection. This is feeling like, this is pause energy. This is like a pause or maybe even a break between you and this person. This particular person may be Gemini, Capricorn, um, Gemini, Capricorn Aquarius, or Libra is the energy that I'm getting here. Um, Aries, Leo. Sagittarius. This is someone who is very, very fixed in how they feel, all right, um, or what their decision is. So they're not going to try to go back on it. But this is someone who is basically more so focused on their success right now, all right. So their next move may be either separation with you or it's going to be very, very slow and um, minimum communication just because they feel like they can't give you what they feel like they, they're not in a place to give you exactly what you need right now but they do see a future with you, all right? So take that how that resonates. I never recommend to wait on people, but, you know, actively work on yourself and your own path, all right? And if you want a personal reading, remember, this is a collective reading. So if you want a personal reading of your own, my information is always below the YouTube videos. You can find me on Powerful Expansion 777 on Instagram, all right? You can email me at Powerful777Expansions at Gmail if you can't pay through Etsy for any reason. And go check out my lovely candles that are available in the Etsy shop, y'all. This is the Lovers, um, Enchanting Lovers candle. They're all made by me. 100% soy, real herbs used in them. Real scents, all right? They're not meant for scents, but they have some scents on them. And this is more so for your own confidence, love, and attracting love and things like that. All right. Thank y'all for watching this video and supporting the channel. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.